Uh, my name is Christian Jordan. Uh, this is Chris Taylor, and this is Kirsten Watson. And we did a project on we call it third wheel sandals. Um, as you can see, there's their names, and there you go. <laughs> uh, we the details and importance really are really essentially simple. It's just we chose to make sandals for people in third world countries who walk barefoot and don't have shoes. Um, you know, they don't have, you know, pumped up kicks and Nikes and all this stuff that we Americans do. Um, so they can also be made for um, poor or homeless people as well, um, either vice versa. Um, Essentially for comfortability, um, you step on rocks or whatnot, you know, it kind of hurts, you know, so uh, a barrier between your foot and ground is actually very important in their country. Next slide. Uh, materials of cost, uh, just about rounded. Um, you can use a side of a rubber tire, or you can use a rubber mud flat, uh, which is about the same, about a little thicker than um, a tire. Uh, $25. Um, carpet bedding. I mean, you can kind of really get it for free if you got some spare. Um, other than that, uh, it's just certain prices for certain measurements of each square foot, um, depending on what store you go to. Uh, T-shirt cost, five dollars, or shoot, you can go to a Goodwill and get like for one dollar. Um, fishing lines to sew, or um, you can use a uh, manila rope, which can actually be come apart, um, about eight dollars. And super glue, about five bucks. Tools uh, to use it would be you alternative for a rich knife, um, scissors, uh, you can use a big pair of these giant scissors to cut through um, rubber material, uh, or you can use a hacksaw, uh, bolt cutters, and a hand drill. Uh, here's Chris Taylor. Just a quick note, that's supposed to be razor knife, spelled there. How to build the flip flops. First step is you can find the old used tires discarded pretty much everywhere. Um, the easiest way I found to cut it was with a razor knife. I tried using 10 snips and it somewhat worked, but unless you got super hands and it's kind of rough on you. Um, like I said, it's easier to use the sidewall of the tire than it is to use the treaded part of the tire because of the steel bands and the treads. Um, well, I pressure to the rubber as you're cutting it, it helps. Um, once you have the sidewall separated from the rest of the tire, lay it flat on the ground, and you can put your foot on it to trace out to where it's your size. Um, allow a little extra on all the way around just to make sure as you walk it doesn't slip off your foot and hang it off and flip flop. After you get all the major pieces cut out and traced out, do the same thing with your carpet pad and whatever you're going to use for your pad. And, um, we all three built a set. The ones I made, I just used strictly super glue. It was easier than trying to say what this is going to have to rubber. Um, take old t-shirt, and like I said, you can use it as the tongues of the flip-flops if you do it that way, or the ones I did, I just used like a sandal and just ran a piece across the top of your foot. And so we all of it together and sit something, cinder block, books, whatever, on top of it so that it helps with the bonds. Thank you. <laughs> um, I just cut the tire wall. I don't have physical strength to cut it, but um, cut tire wall and take bolt cutters and cut the, the wires in them. 
So you could have, I put the two pieces of tire wall and I put carpet pads that I got from my dad because he's a floor. And I put, cut up a t-shirt and I took another t-shirt and just, I took a nail, yeah it was fun, nail and a hammer took me a good while but, and then I just put, my dad took a screwdriver and took the fabric and pressed it through the hole to get in. I just tied it. And I have the tire wall where it's arched, so it's in the arch of your foot. So, and it doesn't wobble when you move like that. Just saying. Because I, I walked in them yesterday. Oh, good. Yeah. I'm going to make sure. Did <laughs> yeah, you all give them a the trial run? No. Oh, okay. Overachieving. Did you give me a trial run? Did you, did you wear yours? Yeah, that's actually how I got the, um, the, what do you call them, the strips, you know, work. I put my uh, foot in it and then I tied it to my foot size. Oh. And them suckers work pretty good. <laughs> I'd actually wear them on. Uh, so. uh, okay, so you can wear this summer. These are the steps. This is the process <laughs> of cutting the tires. It's fun. Use a saw bolt cutters, then had a razor knife, whatever, to cut it, cut cut the shape out and trim it. Did you take those pictures? Yeah. Uh, this is what I, the tire and then the carpet pad, and, and then I put the, I super glued it if you didn't see it, I put the cloth on it and then cut out the strips of shirt and then I put it through the holes. That was his unit. <laughs> and that was our diagram of how the rubber, the padding, and then that's the cloth, and the cloth is on top. Right. Both alternatives for the ones that we each did on separately and do what he did with the strips across. They can be more sandals, or you can just do the other one with the straps and the sandals. And that's just the YouTube video, how to make it. There we go. That's it. Good job.